Alright, so in this one, we are taking a look at the best CPUs when it comes to the value for money. These are the two value for money kings if you are getting a brand new gaming PC. Uh, why is the Ryzen 5 5700X3D an appealing option? The price to the performance you're getting. This is an 8 core 1630 CPU with a 3DB cache technology integrated in it. You can get it from AliExpress for 144 bucks. And this is awesome if you are already on the AM4 platform. You are gonna get a ton of performance uplift, you know, comparable to anything that you had on your older system. So if you have a 5800X and 5700X, you will get a huge performance bump, even to 20 to 25% in a lot of games. So for only 144 bucks, and you don't need to change the cooler that you have, you don't need to change the board, you don't need to change anything, just the CPU. You are gonna get really solid performance, and I have made a video on how to kind of tune this CPU to run on lower end coolers or to run uh, around 70 to 75 degrees. You need to have a PBO limiter on it. Now, the best GPUs to pair with this CPU, you the sky's the limit basically. You can go all the way up to something like an RTX 4070 Ti Super or an RX 7900 XT if you're playing at 4040p gaming. But in my opinion, the best CPU GPU combo with that one, I mean, you can go with anything, but yeah, the best CPU GPU combo is the RX 7900 GRE, which brings me to the Ryzen 5 7500F. This is a brand new CPU, relatively, you know. Uh, based on the AM5 platform. So this is for the people who want a brand new gaming PC, who want to stay on a budget, and the price of this CPU is crazy good. This one goes for $125. This is crazy, a 6-core 12-threaded CPU with a relatively uh, newer IPC, a better IPC than the previous one, and it performs the same when it comes to the performance in gaming uh, to the previous CPU. As you can see right now from some benchmarks, this is based on the Chinese uh, YouTube video. I will link down below. You can see that the performance between these CPUs is relatively the same, but when it comes to the games that require a higher core count, the 5700X 3D is better. When it comes to the games that require a better IPC or a newer uh, newer CPU in general, the 7500F is there. But when you compare it to anything in the competition, for example, an i5 13600K, you'll find that performance the same. You'll find the performance the same, if not better. You can pair the same GPUs you'd pair with this i5 CPU, it's on par with the CPUs for $200 and $250, you know. And I actually have this CPU in my pocket right now. I'm actually on the verge of selling it because, I, I, you know, I need money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really love this CPU. I've had it in my PC for some time, the AM5 PC, actually. And, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of good time. And I actually have the 5800X 3D in my system right now, recorded on this video. And the whole video is edited on a Ryzen 5 3600. So I know what I'm talking about. I know how good these CPUs are. When it comes to the GPUs that uh, to pair with this Ryzen 5 7500F, it's around the same CPU, uh, GPUs. You are looking at the RX 7900GRE and RTX 4070Ti Super. I would confidently, you know, pair it with that one because I have an upgrade path unlike the AM4 platform. But as a base system, you can never go wrong with pairing or making uh, this CPU on your brand new CPU, on your brand new PC. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. So yeah, that's been it. This is the comparison between the uh, 7500F and the 5700X3D. So to recap, if you own an AM4 platform, I feel like the 5700X3D is a better upgrade path than the 7500F and they need to change the whole system. If you want to go on a budget, the 5700X3D might be cheaper because in your place or in your country, the AM4 platform uh, products or the AM4 parts like DDR4, for example, are more available and more cheaper than AM5. So yeah, that's been it. If you like the video, press that like button. If you want to see another that, can subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.